Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Brooke, and I make lifestyle videos. So welcome back to the France vlogs. If it's the first one you're seeing, I have a ton more over on my channel. Don't forget to check those out. So today's adventure, we are going to Normandy, which you may remember from history class as the site of D-Day in World War II. So we're gonna be going and seeing those sites, Omaha Beach, the museums, and so much more. But additionally, we're also gonna be trying some of the food. We're gonna be trying their cider and we're gonna be seeing some of the beautiful scenic areas that Monet used to paint. So there is so much more history than just the war history, but of course that is a huge part of it. So I'm really excited to be bringing you guys along today. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get into it. So we just got to Omaha Beach. This was one of the landing places during D-Day. There were a number of countries that came here to help liberate France from Nazi Germany. And it's amazing just to see what it looks like. It's such a beautiful, peaceful beach now. Just to imagine all of the, the history and sacrifice that happened here. So we've come down. This is such a wide beach, so much sand. So we just came up from the beach and look how, how beautiful some of these like historical buildings are. Now we stopped at this little cafe. Right now they are only open for coffee so we both got a macchiato and a croissant. During regular hours here is their menu. So we have some salad, shrimp plates, seafood plates, mussels, seafood pasta. Oh, they have fish and chips. I love fish and chips. Ham and cheese. They have omelets, a whole bunch of sandwiches, and more salads. We just got to the Memorial Museum of Omaha Beach, June 6, 1944. All right, let's head in. Look how cool these old coins were. That's so cool. They're super faded, but still really cool. And these are old German coins and bills. Do you see that? traveled about 20 minutes away and we have arrived at some German bunkers that are still standing from World War II. So we're gonna find a pathway because we are not about to trek through all of these meadows and I'm gonna show you guys inside. So there are many, but we're gonna start with this one right here. Like this was another big room and then here is the main area looks like for like wiring and such all rusted out metal ceilings so this is a big cannon. That's insane. 
And you can see over on this side where it's been shot. Oh yeah, right here you can tell it's been, it was hit. Oh yeah, you can see how small the windows are. And right here, this one took a hit. It also, based on the circle, it looks like it could rotate, which is really cool. And from afar, mostly just looks like a hill. But they have a straight shot. There's a beach over there. Yeah, let's check out this one next. So that one was, I'm thinking maybe one of the ones in best condition. Here's one that has been collapsed. You can't go in. Here's what's left of it. Right over here, we've got part of the cannon and the top of the cannon is over there, right here. Wow, so this thing really got blown up. Yeah, that's like the shaft of the mm -hmm. cannon barrel. <laughs> so here's another one intact. And you can see, yeah, the armor of this one has not been hit. Well, actually just a little bit down there. But this one's in really good condition. Let's see. We tried lighting these, but it's so dark in there. We're thinking these were probably the command centers. Yeah. I mean, with this one, you can really see more of like the engineering. Oh yeah, that's how it rotated that wheel down there. It's a huge rotation base. It's really cool. All right, let's go visit the fourth one. So we found a different type of bunker here. Oh, so interesting. Okay, so there's a ton of water and white shoes. Let's see if we can navigate just enough. Okay, that was mud. Okay, that was mud. This is cool. That's a bunker. Nice. Should we hop in? You call some music. I'm not gonna hop in. Well, I guess if I hop in, I don't know how I'm gonna hop out. Actually, it might not be the best idea. Yeah, you just want to get in. I just want to see what all this is. Okay, so there's just some some chambers, some small things, probably storage. I'm thinking something was placed here, like a gun or something. Oh, you can kind it's of see. Oh, well, this isn't helpful. Okay, we've stumbled upon something else. Oh, okay, this must have been like a lookout tower. Oh, yeah, perfect view. Yeah. Oh. Okay, very, very tiny. And then you can stand over here. There we go. So it's kind of carved out in the middle here. It's almost like a like a desk. So you could have things under here. And then you can look straight out, shoot and hide. Wow. And it looks like there's a pathway through here and there's another pathway on the other side to go below it. Now we're going to go below. Let's see what's down here. Okay, so there's a ladder where you can climb up the back so you don't get shot while you're entering. So here, this one is another 
look out and it goes it has three of the four sides are open so once i'm assuming they've advanced onto land here's how you would take them out and it has like reinforced metal ceilings all cinder block i think it's cinder block it looks like cinder block off the main chamber okay a lot of water huge room this was probably the control room yeah and then here are the stairs to get up obviously they've boarded it up because they want people to use it and get hurt that's how you'd enter from the back just walking around now so here's the lower room that we were just in I wouldn't have even thought that people would be down there. I would have just thought that, I just would have assumed the top. And you can see where, where it's taken hits. It's crazy. And really just has an incredible vantage point. And just for perspective, we're just walking out of that watch, watchtower area and the bunkers are all the way over there. So they would know, the people in the watchtower would know far before they did and then probably radio them so that they could prepare. <music> We just got to Enflore, which is um, a little marina city. This is one of the few areas that somehow did not get bombed in World War II. So there's a lot of history here, a lot of really amazing architecture and colors, and I'm so excited to be here. So this place, of course, all of Normandy is really known for their seafood, but of course here because it is right, it has the marina. So this place specifically, we're really excited. We got here just in time to get a drink and lunch, and I'm excited I'm gonna get some sort of seafood because you gotta be a part of it. And then all of the seafood typically goes down with, of course, some hard cider because that's what they're known for in the area. So. I'm excited to show you guys around. We're kind of in, um, I don't know, maybe I'd call it like the food district. We're just passing tons and tons of restaurants side by side all the way down these streets. So I'll show you guys. So we just set up at a restaurant. Unfortunately, it's like three or almost four o'clock, right? It's three o'clock. They have stopped serving lunch. They don't start serving regular food again until 6 p.m., but they do have the crepes. So they're known for their their crepes. They have ones like breakfast crepes that have, they're like stuffed inside, almost kind of like a pita bread crepe with the different things. So we got one that has um, cheese, potatoes, bacon, onion, and then it comes with a side salad, I believe. And then I also got, um, Darren got a sugar and butter dessert crepe and I got a strawberry dessert crepe. So um, we're just gonna have snacks. We wanna try that anyways. I was hoping to get fish and chips, but we were a little too late. So in the meantime, we got some wine and yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the views. Cheers. So we just got our breakfast crepe and came with um, a little salad, and I guess the cream. I thought it was gonna be sour cream. It's kind of a liquid cream. Or I'll do a cross section. Okay, so here's. I see some cheese in here. No, I mostly only see cheese. Yeah, let's open it up. Okay, so I see some potatoes. I see a little bacon in there. Onion. Mm -hmm. Onion. Okay, I see some of the other types of cheese because there are multiple types of cheese yeah. in here. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so let's get a little potato in here. Yes. This is better than any breakfast burrito I have ever had in my life. Okay, we need to find like a recipe for this. It's like a buckwheat crepe. And then with all the stuff inside, we need to recreate this at home. This is a new favorite. 
You guys have to try it if you've got it. You have to. I'm going in for more. Jesus. So we just got our dessert crepe. So I got a strawberry one, which I thought would have like slices of strawberry like they do in the US, but actually just seems to be like a strawberry puree. And then Darren got a sugar and butter one. Basically this looks like a really big like butter tortilla. <laughs> they smell amazing though. So I'm really excited to try these. Okay, I'm gonna try both of them. So let's see. Okay, so this is just the butter and sugar one. Tastes like a very thin pancake, a lot of vanilla, really good though. Let's try this one. They're also like super doughy. Aggressively sweet, probably too sweet for me. It kind of tastes like melted like strawberry jello on top of a crepe. I prefer the plain one, but I'm also really picky, so. <laughs> All right, we are back out exploring. It looks like they have kind of like a boardwalk area. There's a Ferris wheel, there's a carousel over here, and a few other attractions. I love how dog friendly they are. There are pups literally everywhere. It's amazing. So here's the carousel. Look how historic and awesome these buildings are. Really incredible. And unlike a lot of Paris that was bombed and then rebuilt, these are original because they were never bombed. Absolutely incredible. And the fact that they have withstood the test of time also speaks to how well built they were. Every time I'm about to put away my camera, we stumble across something new and beautiful and interesting. Oh, let's go through here. This looks awesome. Oh, it's one of the hat makers. So Normandy is well known for their hat makers and um, their handmade china. Although I will say these kind of look like they were manufactured, but in general, a true hat maker is something really treasured. Okay, we're gonna go through this cool little, I don't know what it is, this little historical opening. Monument. Oh, but it, yes, it is a historical monument. All right, let's see what this is. From 1206? No way. Well, I don't know, there are a lot of different dates here and I don't speak French, so I'm not sure <laughs> when exactly this was built. Again, the struggle of not being bi or trilingual. Oh, actually, I love that sequel one. Can you see the pup in the blue in yeah. that painting? That sequel one, the seagulls walking side by side for some reason, that brings me extreme happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom would like that. Yeah, she would. My mom is like obsessed with the beach and bright colors in Mexico, so. The seagulls would be right up her alley. Wow. Whoa. Okay, this is like Disney Princess, how they open the windows and sing out them. This is just, oh my gosh. This is incredible. Wow. Here are some of the ciders. <laughs> We just found this beautiful square, beautiful fountain, more gorgeous historical buildings. Absolutely beautiful and amazing and I'm about to get run over. Okay, they stopped. <laughs> it's getting a little dangerous out here. I mean, can you beat this? It's just pure magic. We just stumbled across a little garden in the middle of the city. Mm. 
And there's this beautiful river. And they have this device, which looks like it kind of dams the river and stops the flow. So if the river ever gets low, they have, never have issues sourcing water. Also, I don't really think I addressed this, but I brought like a tank top um, in my backpack. So I still have the sweater. It is still the same day. Um, I just did a bit of a costume change because as you can see, it's super sunny out, super bright. Uh, once again, weather said that it was going to be chilly and it's hot. So I have learned, bring the backpack and I'm bringing like a change of clothes, like a thin long sleeve or a tank top everywhere I go. I'm not taking risks anymore. <laughs> Okay, so we were just wandering and we came across this whole like extremely historical district. Look how incredible. Whoa. Okay, so we just got to a cathedral and note the ceiling. So in this area, there's a lot of boats and a lot of boat builders. So what happened here was no one knew how to build like a chapel or a church. So this is actually the bottom of a boat to put together. There was originally one and then it wasn't big enough so they added a second. But if you were to turn this church upside down, it would actually float. So that's what kind of makes this one unique but it's absolutely beautiful as well. All right, let's venture over here. So it kind of looks like they're either setting up or tearing down a beautiful little farmer's market. Oh my gosh, they have olive wood. Okay, do I need it? No. Yes, no. Oh my gosh. Someone restrained me. I know. More incredible shops. These are soaps. Mmm, wow. It smells amazing. It's really incredible. Just these streets, beautiful art, candies, and jams. More candy. It's from one beautiful, charming street to another, and then just another every direction is just incredible like beauty and intrigue look at this is these are all carved out of wood that's incredible like look at the pages of the books oh my gosh i don't know where these people discover they have these skill sets at what point did you just start whittling wood and you're like hey i'm pretty good whoa Gosh, it's just incredible. And these tiny boxes, just the detail of everything. Wow. So right off the main street is this little opening. And we thought maybe it would lead to a courtyard or something, but actually it leads to a little neighborhood. There are little houses all along here over here this is like the entrance to a tiny neighborhood how beautiful and charming wow down every little alley just so much history beauty so much to look at and right off the main row the marina is right there we just found this random tunnel. Are there any over here? No. And it opens to another square. Yeah, 
So we just set up shop in one of the small little cafes and we are here to get a cider. So we got the 50 CL. So we got the 50 CL, it is eight euros. I'd say that's about 9.50, about 10 bucks each, but it's a very good size. So I got one for me and one for Darren while he uses the restroom. And here is the name of the little cafe if you wanna come here. And here we are, we have our cider. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so we just walked over to the Ferris wheel. I am terrified of heights, but I cannot say no to an opportunity to see this beautiful city from that view. So here we go. <laughs> All right, we're getting to our our little, I want to call it a death carriage, but nope, we're not gonna, we're not gonna die. You know, I want to sit next to you. We're gonna sit across for safety purposes, balance. For balance. For balance, mm-hmm, survival. <laughs> we survived. Yes. <laughs> Say that like you're expecting it was, a crash. It was unclear. Another really cool thing that you can do in Nantes is you can get a ride on one of these little these little trolleys here. Just to show you guys a bit of what I was talking about when I first walked in, do you see all of these colored tents? Those are all different restaurants. I was saying we were passing restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. I really meant it. They are all side by side sharing a wall and all seafood. They, of course, they all have their own little specialties and such, but really incredible seafood menu. This time we're gonna be trying this side of the little marina. There are not nearly as many options. There's a hotel restaurant right over there. And then we're gonna see what they have here. I do have my heart set on fish and chips because I love fish and chips, I really do. So I'm gonna see if they're on any of the menus. If they're not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that dedicated to eating over here. I will venture over there for fish and chips. All right, we have ventured near and far and I have found my fish and chips. And this is the name of the place. No, it's not, that's a dessert menu. <laughs> I'm trying. I'll show you guys when we get inside. All right, I have found the name of the restaurant. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. The pride and joy of my life, fish and chips. They have this huge menu. And that, that is what we've come for. And in their extensive menu, we have found the cider. Each restaurant seems to only have one cider and they come in three different sizes. So um, it's not like the beer or the wine where they have like an extensive menu and categories. Um, I'm not sure why exactly that is, but yeah. So we just have to decide the size. <laughs> not much decision to make here. So it appears we actually ordered a bit aggressively. I don't know what CL is. I don't I don't know that measurement volume. <laughs> so all right, I thought that was probably gonna be like, I don't know, 10 ounces. Uh, I feel like we each have like half a liter. She's got a three hour <laughs> car drive home. Yeah, that's a so lot that's, of bathroom breaks to have. So we just ordered, I got my fish and chips, obviously. Darren got oysters, of course, he loves oysters. So we are excited and the restaurant's not too busy. So I think we're gonna be able to get out of here and back to our hotel, hopefully in a good amount of time. We are three hours, or I'm sorry, uh, Omaha Beach was three hours out of Paris. This is about two and a half hours. So we're still gonna get back pretty late, but totally worth it. <laughs> they started us with this wonderful bread that we've already got involved with, and we already dropped some on the ground. <laughs> we're, we're off to a great start, guys. So our food just arrived. Darren got 12 oysters. Um, we ended up ordering a margarita pizza last minute. And then I got my wonderful, highly desired fish and chips. 
Yay! So we just finished dinner and I'm here in the streets of Normandy and we are ready to head home. We're gonna start our two and a half hour drive back to Paris. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If this is the first of the France vlogs you guys are seeing, head over to my channel, check out all the other videos. There's a ton of great content and I'll be posting a few more after this. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting.